good good double hitting in this match for sure. One hundred and forty. Good leg. Osborne's best is on a possible eleven dancer here. And this against the throw as well. Well, the, the intermission between the second and third set in this case probably really helped Osborne to regroup a bit. If he had to play the next this 45. set immediately following what had happened at the end of the second 81. set, it would have been a lot harder to come out with this sort of a leg where he needs treble 19. He'd probably go for treble 10. Because, well, 20 will leave double 16. He didn't have to go the way to the bull 49. because uh, Brendan wasn't on a finish. And in that case, I, I agree with that entirely. You're still going for the shot. He was trying for the treble 10. He wasn't trying to miss, but the way it broke down afterwards, he's on a double now. And that's the main thing. Colin, you require 32. To break the Dolan's throw for the first time in the match. Now, how awkward has he left it? Well, still room at the bottom. Still has to move across. He went high. Last time this happened, he managed to get the double eight, didn't yeah, he? Yeah, but he obstructed it a little bit. He had to move back to the left now. Nice he's good. probably too far, just under threw it, or the angle made it a farther shot. Sometimes when you move away and across, the actual distance you throw the dart changes to be longer. Something about a hypotenuse and a triangle. Now, 114, I think Brennan, he's good at these sorts of things. Needs treble 18. Yes, tops. Ooh. 94. That would have been painful for. I thought, was, I thought it was going in. I really did. And so did Brendan. No mistake this time. First break of throw for Osborne at the start of this third Second set. Collins to throw first. Game on. Haven against Klassen is to come. That's Sky Sports Dance on Twitter. Well, he didn't look very good in that fifth leg of the last set, Colin, but I have to say, other than that, he's had a lot of poise in the match. And I'm, pre I'm impressed with him because Dolan playing a fantastic game. Very easy for Osborne to just pack it in. Well, a wry smile from Osborne. I can assure you, he wouldn't be smiling inside. Okay, we have bad turns. What really tells you about the player, how he's handling it, is how he handles that. How does he come back his next three darts? Does he come back aggressive, or is he still kind of groping at, at the double, or at the treble? There's no conviction there, is there? 40. And even his cover shot, which has been reliable, misses its mark. Not by a lot, but that doesn't matter. After breaking Dolan's throw, he's now in trouble on his own. 100. Osborne just glad to be here. He's had a tough old time of it away from darts over the last 12 months, which 97. has obviously affected his form. But determined to come back stronger in 2014, has a good attitude. One hundred and forty. Ninety-nine average. Impressive indeed from Brendan Dolan. Yeah, Brendan seems to have this fixation on nine all the time now Brendan since that perfect game. He even has it in his average. Should go for 25. Double 16. He's opted for. 29. Yeah, he's disappointed with that because he realizes 
Although Osborne's been up and down, 101 is certainly a possibility here. Needs the double 19. Now needs the double 12. 89. Brandon New record, 32. To break back, Dolan. Looking at double 16. Aim shot in the second leg. Brendan Dolan. Third leg, Brendan Dolan for the road first. To say up to number 13 in the world, he'd lost in eight finals, eight ranking finals, Brendan, before he finally won not one but two in November. He won two Pro Tour events, Players' Championship events in 95. Wigan and Barnsley. No one would begrudge him his success. As I mentioned, he, he puts a lot of hard work into his into his darts. Yes, he certainly has, and he's been consistent. That's uh, one of the best things you can be in darts, is consistent. And that's why he has a high 90s average. And on most occasions these days, he is. As I've heard Phil say on many occasions, you, know, you have to throw every dart very deliberately, and certainly Brendan follows that advice. Klassen and Jamie Caven still to come to round off day three of the World Championship. Osborne's World Championship debut at the Circus Tavern when he was a dart or two away from the semi-finals lost in the quarter-finals in a deciding set to Andy Jenkins at Perfley 5-4 the set score yes and that just tells you how long uh, Colin's been on the scene No flash in the pan, he's been a long time pro. Sixteen. Brendan Yuri Poir, one hundred and ten. To go within a leg of the second round. He went for the ball. 95. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, I don't agree with that well, myself. <laughs> I think any two dart situation, you got to go for the big treble. Right? A lot of people do that on 82 left as well with two darts. But uh, here we have Osborne needs 16 or 20. Well, 16 this time for tops. Earlier with 56, he went 20 for double 18. But this time it is tops. 96. Perhaps he should have went 20 double 18. He's had his chances, hasn't he? He's had his chances. Colin Osborne. Good dart. Really, really good. Aggressive dart. Wrong leg away. Yeah, so Colin under pressure just to hold his throw to stay in. And if he's successful, has to break Brendan. 140. 50. Now Osborne winning the first leg against the throw, Dolan breaking straight back and then holding. So Osborne here throwing to stay in the match. And then try and get another break. It's been a while though. Brennan has been scoring that well that break opportunities will not come easily. 
first part of the puzzle, though, is, is good for Osborne here because he's pretty well ahead on his throw. Unless he has a, a really dire turn at the board, should be okay for an opportunity. So as it is, Brendan 343 can't even leave a finish with a 180 or a 177 16. or anything. So, but Colin would have liked more than 60. It's kind of obvious. We'd always like more than 60. Usually we like more than 100, sometimes more than 140. It depends how the darts fly. And there's a 180. The problem was he needed 179 to leave a finish. You can't give any points back in this game. You're going to take them all. 96. Give himself a chance, hasn't he? For that third 180. Well, and uh, just some average sort of scoring from Colin. He had a big advantage and really. 60. Well, that is pressure, though. At 103, the way Brendan finishes in that range, Colin knows he pretty much has to take this 105. He's gone 19, so that's treble 18 would leave 32. No. 68 for this dart should be 20s, but uh, he's a bit lucky. He's 12 for the 56. When you go on 103. Well, he's already taken out 167, 120, and 118. First leg won with 118. Can he win the match on 103? He can. If he hits double 12, 91. Well, I really felt like he was going to hit 56. that one there, and. Uh, I think so. Obviously, Brendan did, but uh, Holland, thankfully, saying, I'm going to take this chance. Two for double top. I only need one. The hell. Lots have gone wrong. Double ten. 36. Oh, just trying too hard. Well. Know the feeling. And they have to think. This double six will not prevent any sort of a problem for Dolan to take this match. And there it is. He wins his first round game in fine fashion, 97 average. And uh, I'd have to say, Colin, he put up a good fight. But Dolan just too consistent, finished too well, Stewart. Yeah, Dolan through to play Gary Anderson. Coming up next, Blink and you'll miss him. It's a great dance coming between Jamie Caven and Yana Clatton to round off day three of the World Championship.